Yes, 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 yes. Kumla Nabati Mara, we are up to the top base from an Aleph. <coughs> The new Patek, the second Patek, and we all want to wish Malot of the Zach the occasion of his Bar Mitzvah, and it's now okay. engagement. What did I just say? <laughs> Sorry, <that's engaged>. <laughs> and you reached my age, you know what it is. And Baruch Shemi Stalin Dafiemi when it was just right after his Bar Mitzvah. Okay. Halabai, we were as clever as you. We were that age. We're up to now the second page. Body shine in the beginning. Call me writer literary whoever wanted to give to be the client who his job is to get up in the early morning hours and to take that scoop of ash out uh, off the Mizbeach and place it next to the ramp on the, the eastern side in front on the ground. As Mizbeach told him, we'll do it. There weren't too many uh, um, you know contenders for it. And suddenly a number of Kaini wanted the same position. Then it was a race. And this is the, the first race they had. They would run and race up the ramp. Whoever got, got in within the first four Amas see, means the top of the ramp, the, the top four, the first four, the four, closest four Amas to his back. He won. What happens if both of them will reach the four Amamak at the same time? Then they have to make a lottery. As Rashi explains, it wasn't just these two who were doing a lottery. All the Kainim who are interested now joined the lottery. Because if it was these two, then it, it, it's, it, it's, you knew the outcome before even you started. The way they did lotteries in those days was not the way we do today. You put a name in a paper, you pick out a blank paper. Or the way we more look we learn how they divide it. So it's not how it works. What they work here is that they do a, they choose a number and they start counting and keep going around and around and around until they reach that number. But if there's only two people there, if you pick an even number, you know, you'll always get the second guy. And if it's an odd number, you'll always get the first guy. So it's not much of a, of, of a lottery. So therefore, everybody else joined in. Hamamuna So the, the Mamuna, the one in charge, will say to them, Hats be you. I want you to stretch out your fingers. And, and then we're going to count your fingers. And each person has a choice of interesting lottery of time, one or two fingers, but we ain't might see in a goidel, but you're not allowed to put out the thumb. Because with the thumb, you can cheat. Because the thumb and the finger are so far apart, if you see that you're two people away and you only had one finger, you'll stick out the other finger and, and the guy will realize that you had you only had one finger out of the time. So therefore, only the middle finger is not the thumb. Big Machik is showing me exactly how it worked. But Rashi learns the person, they just go and take off somebody's hat. And that's how they knew that's the person that they began with. Machlik is put it right back on because he's standing there without all the begotten or not. But then they would, and then this person, the same person, the Amamunu, would choose a number. But according to Rashi, let's say there were 20 coin in there, you would say 140. You choose a much larger number than the people are there. So he himself doesn't really know where it's going to end up. So there's no cheating involved. Others don't learn that. They just say that it's the two different people. One person choosing a number, another person deciding which kind to start from, and others say that it's actually the crane themselves who chose the number, but they wouldn't tell each other. So um, the person took off a hat from one of the people there, so he had no idea what number they chose and where it's going to end up. And then when we get, everyone, all the crane there knew the number or the other person chose the number, and when it got to that number, that's the one who, who won. So the, each tradition is trying to find a way of how to avoid any cheating. Anyway, I think what I like to name Shavi. There was a story, an incident once that they both re- raced the ramp and they reached at the same time. The Rotsin, the Eilin, by Kevin, they're running, racing up the ramp. The Dochat Echem and Chaveda, one of them seemed like he deliberately shoved the other one aside. The Nafal, and he fell down. The Nishbara Ragla, and he broke his foot, which is a much a uh, lesser story, or and that's as bad as the story we're going to read about tomorrow. The key mission, oh, Bezin, Bezin, witness that Shabbat, there's a kind of the coming danger. He's keen they enacted Shabbat, yeah, terminus of his back of the pious. That's it, no more races. It's dangerous. We're going to have a lottery. So they watch and they monitor the events, and as soon as they realize circumstances change, safety is the most important thing. Then the mission says, <laughs> That isn't what happened. That isn't what happened. We'll talk about later. There were four lotteries there. 
the Zepayis edition. This was the first lottery and the other activity that had other lotteries. Says the Gemara, Baham, the avoid of through Sadeshan, Mikoda, my time will let the Kinder Bonapaisa. Well, why did they have foresight? Chacham Masmat, intelligence. There ain't a hater, they can see ahead. Why didn't they envisage this would happen? This would happen, and that they should have from the from initial avoid um, us from the beginning of the basic media, they should have said, you know what, we'll have lotteries. Mikoda, so at first they thought, even the avoid us lightly. Because this is not really a void of the day, and all the void of during the day, then it's not really considered an avoid at all. And therefore, also, which client will be interested in waking up early hours in the morning? Which client will be interested in working out early hours in the morning to come and join? So we're talking about how they used to have a um, they used to have a race. Whoever reached the top first will do the avoid of prima possession. Then somebody got hurt, or they actually they. They hurt somebody. One person, you know, was, was lo- sort of losing, so he pushed the other guy aside. So they changed it to a lottery. So we're asking now why Chacham Chazal Chachila didn't enact the lottery? Why wait till an incident occurred? So the Gemara, because first they thought it's an activity during the night. An activity during the night is not really avoida. And if it's not avoida, then why would any crime be interested? Even the Chazal the Kasi people, the crime is still coming. Interested? I guess as families are growing, everybody wants to participate actively, so they join. But also there's a kind and they endanger themselves. The Kinu Leifaisa, so therefore they instituted this lottery. Says the Gemara, are you telling me about night? No, no more than anything else. But they saw that it's a shtickle of it, but but it isn't nothing. There's only a certain amount of cleaning that had that had a right It's not even avoided. They thought it's not considered avoided. Says the Gemara, how do you avoid him? What about the limbs of the fats? The avoid is lilu. That you know, if you don't do it right after the carbon in the afternoon, you do it into the night. And yet, and they're from the outset they set they set up a lottery. So we see that they they claim are interested in the avoidus of the night, and night is considered an avoidus. So the gemara soif avoided the imami, treated as if it's the end of the day. Because remember, it starts the day. First of all, you shechted the carbon by day, and whatever you do now, the remnants of that carbon. So therefore, they treated it as much more chasher because it's a continuation of a day activity. But the truma sedation is mamish initiating an activity in the first thing in the morning, and that's the middle of the night. In fact, it's it's also related to the avoid of the day, so therefore they should have realized this is mamash avoid. How do you see that? Because if somebody went ahead and they they makadish the hands in the kier, koyim, had to wash his hands and his, and his feet, and then he went and did the way of truma sadesh, and he did not leave exit bishem English, doesn't have to wash again for the activities of the day, which means that this is the start of your day activity. So people should have realized that truma sadesh is said avoid of hayyim. And yet the following day, you don't have to be Makadish. I was in the morning, you have to be Makadish. Says the Gemara, Ema say, not that this is the beginning of Avoida. They did not treat Tumas as an Avoida. But Abi Yechen is saying that if you wash your hands and you were cautious and careful, you didn't walk out of the exit of the base of Migdush, then, then and if you had in mind that this washing should also take care of the Avoida, so the day, fine. But not that this, not the virtues that this is the Avoida and therefore. You wash your hands for an avoid of the base of Midrash and it continues the rest of the day. It's betchila le avoid. You did it for the other avoiders. This is not avoid. So people in Kanye were not interested. That's answer number one. But answer number two, I think a lot of us can relate to. Ikadami. Me caught us up, we thought, even the Ika Aina Shin, the people like sleeping in, then Loy also, who's going to come in the morning? But even the Chazad also, they saw people who were prepared to wake up early in the morning, or Kaosi, Nami, the Sakana, and now we're brought upon a Sakana, it's a Kinder Abana Paisa. So they decided to institute um, a lottery. Ready, Gimori, what do you mean? You tell me what, because people don't, people are tired and they won't get up. No, and people are tired at night. Well, what about the limbs and the fast? The also is an anus of sleeping. And yet, the Kindle Rabban and Paisa seems a lot of crying were interested. And the question is, as Jason explained, that they had to. You had to stay up at least till midnight because remember we learned before that kind of if something falls off the mezbech and the fire really hasn't taken control, you have to put it back on the mezbech. So kind of had to be up at least till chatzais to make sure that everything is burning properly. So what the chilek then or that? Think about a shiny mignum and make them. The people who are night people, they find it a lot easier to stay up the late nights. Exactly, exactly. Then to wake up early in the morning. They find it very hard to wake up in the morning. Says the Gemara, the Takanta Laham Gisahada. You're telling me the reason for the Takana for the lottery was because of this incident. But no, Takanta Lai Gisahada. We learned actually as a whole to all the reason why they made this Takana. And what is that? The Tanya learned. 
Mi shezache betrumas adeshen, whoever merited and won the lottery when it came to removing that those ashes, that scoop of ashes, also won another lottery. The Sidram Arachi organized the wood on the pyre, on the Mizbech. Uvishneig, Zidi Eitzim, also the two long pieces of wood that covered the pyre with the Mizbech. They took care of it. They took care of the two marachas on his back, the large one for the Roman commanders, the small one for the to make coal for the Titus, and then they took care of the wood. So they so the, the lottery actually was for the other things, the Maracha and the and the and the Xadims. So that's why they had to make a lottery. And that's an avoid. So they had to sell lottery just in order to get something first. So he did not be a That's what There were two phases. Mikadas at first they thought like us. Nobody's coming to wake up early hours in the morning to go ahead and do the Tru Sadesh. Even the cause of the cause of coming, and they saw the also the damage is gonna the kid in the face. They say, you know what? Let's make a lottery. But you know what happened? Sometimes the government make rules and they think they're protecting everybody. That's what they were to protect anybody. It destroyed the whole the whole economy, it destroys everything. So what happened was King the Paisa lost. So everybody said, What? Why should I get up early hours in the morning? How do I not win? I have a one out of ten chance, one twenty. I'm not coming. I'm not gonna slip out of bed so early in the morning for a maybe. So they they shot themselves in the foot. Nobody came. Me yamed the misramula. Who said I'm going to win? So how did the kinlus? So the second stage was they realized that they made a mistake. So they had to give them some uh, incentive to, to come. Me shezocha betrumas adeshen yiskin besidem arocha ubsnek zidayetim kehech in order the nates of the fight to want to come. Traces learned it wasn't really two faces. It was a chachila. This is what went through their mind why they did this. It was only one, it wasn't to face If the Chachamim were expecting them to anticipate things, they surely, Pesach trying to say, Chachamim are not like governments. They surely anticipate like a chess game. They see the two, three, four moves ahead. And they would have seen that this is exactly what would happen. If they would do that, who would come? So the Chachila went through this mine and they go, okay, we'll make this Takana, but then let's build with that. We'll have another problem. So let's make two Takana at the same time. But actually, learned it would took actually two phases and Pesach in one shot degree production. Yeah, exactly. Like a chess game. Well, there was a race. They were getting necessarily, they were getting up, not necessarily to compete. They had to win the race. Yeah, that's right. There they thought it's my, I have, I, I, it's, uh, uh, we'll have more than the Bay is a different, but different kinds of gambling is when they're gambling like a race of uh, things, where it's, it's, where it's totally B, I believe in myself, I can do it. But if it's totally something, the Abish does something, I don't have any, you know, pull over there. Tell you what I did was man shame, but Ruby, when the coin you increase the number, I'm gonna pop it up. We said whoever reached the top four amas. Now remember, like this the Mizbech was 32 amas, but 32 amas, and the ramp was 32 amas long. But if you remember, the Mizbech, the base of the Mizbech was 32 amas, then the Savior went in an amma, so it was 30, and then the, the, the top went in an amma again. So, therefore, by the time we got to the top, you know, it was, it was two amas in. So, the question is, and then the ramp. Oh, cover that. So when you say that the, the four Amas, the pub is going to ask, closest to the Mizbech, he meant the base of the Mizbech, which really means the six Amas mark, or he meant the four Amas to the top of the Mizbech. Four Amas from the top of the Mizbech. Or that, or, or six Amas to the top of the Mizbech. You're on the ramp. There's no question. It didn't mean the four Amas on the ground leading to the ramp. Clearly, they ran and they went. They went up. They ascended the the, the what do you call it? the ramp. So it couldn't be on the ground itself. Kamaisanami loy can't be the first four amas of the ramp because the rotsin va oilin by kevishna. It says that they were running and and going up on the kevish. I mean, they already started going up already. And if it's the first four amas, they didn't go up yet. It's right there, the first set, the first inch, the first millimeter. You're already on the on the ramp. Uh, that's how some of the shame learned. The hoda kala koyd chaveidi. What's the show? The show that what's going on? First one is to take something to the cabbage, or the first one is to take something to the cabbage. Going through it, whoever reaches the first, the, the beginning of those four arms. Yes. So he said, can't be the beginning of four arms at the bottom because it says the rotsim of the cabbage, and then it says the hoda kala koydim is chaveidi. It sounds like they both reached the beginning of the. They're, they're both already climbing the cabbage. Whatever is is first. So the chaveidi, if, if according if it's first four arms, then one of them didn't reach the cabbage. The Bain and Bain Amal is somewhere in the midpoint, can't be the Lemma Sign Musa. I know where the midpoint is. So, she to lead the Gabbard Bech, I'm talking about the four Amas closest to his Bech. Why, the Papa Alba Amish Amru, the head, the Amal Yusayb, the Yusayb, the Amal Yusayb. My question is, is it together with the, the, those two Amas that are going in? I do a bar Mami Sayb Abba Sayb. In other words, if, if we go closer to the Bech, the top four Amas, or 
I, I, we're saying it's the four Amas start from, from the beginning of the base, which means six Amas from the top of the Mibbeh, Teiku. Interesting that you should even, have, again, my Dahava Hava. Sorry? It was, they must have marked here or something. But it was pitch black, it was dark here. Remember the. Okay, the candle, okay. So I had to make this a very strong mark or something. The im hayish name shav na munoim alem has feel. Trying to learn how to see as by second extend your finger, the minion. Why you extend your finger so we can count? Fred the gemara but the minion will do. Why don't you just count the people themselves? Why count the fingers? So here we introduce an interesting idea. Misayel le rabbi tzchak. This supports rabbi tzchak. Yom rabbi tzchak. Oser limna says Israel. You're not allowed to count the Eden. I feel the dvar mitzvah. You're not allowed to count the Indian, even as for a mitzvah. It says, it says by Dovra Melech, he committed a sin. If we bring, bring all these sukkim. The obvious question is in the Torah, we have Kugla Yibam Negev. Why do you give a machta as a shekel? The Torah says, because if we count, it'll be a negative. Why do we bring all these other eyes? The Rabban already explains the Chumash that um, over there, first of all, the simple answer is maybe it's a Hirasha. Everything that happened in the Torah in the time of Midbar might have been a one off event. We don't know exactly what it is. But um, interesting, in the Ayin Mishpat, he brings no marker for the no halacha except. The Rambam, the Fenish Shemar, Simon Kufn and Bob, the Mogan Ram, Al Tereba, you're not allowed to count, um, you're not allowed to count even for a mitzvah. So, that minion you say, which is not no, it's in the Mogan of Ram. Okay, but if you actually, if it's it, Mogan Ram, it's also Shemar. If you could, you're right, but if you don't have okay, could be. The Chesiv it says Kufnu Dvav is the longest Morgan Avram in Shulchanah because he brings all the dinim that you don't find Shulchanah. Ab is Yisrael, Lashon Hara. This is always perplexing. The the the, the Lashon Hara is such a big thing. It's so many Avedis, some Chapas Chaim, so many Sfarim on it. It's not mentioned Shulchanah. How is that possible? There's no similar Shulchanah hit of Lashon Hara. You can't you can't give a tell us like you give a bit of time to advise and they're done. Because everybody knew what you had to do. Exactly. And my run brings down one line. I'll tell you, Baruch Hashem gives two sifim on it. You know, but but one of them, how can that be? Another thing which is interesting, missing a shukhanah completely. It here um, is mentioned shukhanah. It is a whole similar shukhanah. It's only in the laws of Krishna. As a dinner Krishna, you're allowed to read Krishna from this person or that person. What about Hichat Sneers? There should be a whole similar shemar about Hichat Sneers, and this is so important. The third thing is, when it talks about the furniture of a shul, it forgot to mention the Mechitza. Everything. The order, the table, where you're supposed to be. So why did not mention the And we hold the Mechitza the Raisa. Some say the Raisa the Raisa and everything else. And Shemar forgot to mention the So the answer that everybody gives on that is, women didn't go to shul. But we know that's not true. For Shulam, there's a whole there's a whole sift in the Ramah of a woman need is allowed to go to shul and the restraint of go shul and make them feel good in in Aleph. If you make them feel good, you know they don't want to be embarrassed, especially in the month of El. They all went to shul. And so we had a Gemara Saita in the Chobez there, where the Rabbi Yechon asked this woman, "Why are you going to the shul here so far away?" Yeah. So and these are. So that's what I'm sure. But that, that doesn't mean that he that doesn't mean that she so wet. She might have brought to the door and put it. So these are three questions that always bother me. If anyone has an answer, I would love to hear it. Unless it was two weeks of the earth, might be just the fight in this time. It happened to show me that it was continuous. About going to show yeah, but Bashunar brings it down, so why isn't the same Shukhanar talk about a mechitza? And Nachme. Remember, we're going to we're going to learn tradition that pay alf over there, the buying a rubber with the Kimura says you have to have a mechitza between men and women. So Rashi over there says it's talking about when you have a share. Learning when you learn, you have a shear, you should have these buckets in between. Yeah, but why is it not just saying you're davening? I'd love to know. Anyway, let's go back to the chseev. It says by David Amel, it says, uh, says the apostle by Yifkite in Bebazak that he recounted them in Bazak. So this is showing them, he counted them in Bazak. So therefore, we see, and we when over there talks about how they count them, he counted them with sheep. Because the Gemara, the Masculine, actually might have other solution. Just say it was clay shards, broken fragments of clay. So the Gemara, the Mai, the high boss, solution of the musical high noise, Shalom El counted them with pieces of clay. Dilmush Shmad the Masul, maybe that he counts them in a place called Bazar. So the Gemara can can see it, and we find there's such a place called such a place. See, we said this about him too. As Adoni Bazar, they found the the lords of Bazar. So we see there's a place called Bazar. El Mahachav Mir by Yishma Shalos Am. He heard the people by Yivkin, and he counted them with clay and with sheep. 
Amar Ablazer, Kala Maines Yisro, anybody counts the Yidin directly, Oyve Belav, it's Oyve Nabeir Shnema, it says a Pasig, Vahoye, Mispar Benei Yisro, Tichoyla Yam, Ashallah, Yimad, that the number of Yidin are like a sand, that you should not count them. It's a big controversy in Eretz Yisro, and I don't remember all the Protim years ago when they made the first census. How you allowed to make a census? Is that a, 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 a contradiction to the Gemara? You know, I can't but even though what you, but even though what you can is the fact that I'm, yep, but if, you're not counting papers, you're counting what the person wrote on the paper. Five, four, three, you're counting people. So they the question that's the question. Is that it's not like if they were if each person had to give a piece of paper, and then all you do is count the papers. That's not what we're talking about. That's not the census. So there's a big controversy, and there were many of the body who came out and allowed to sign the census. And that's why they always had the from Eden wrong population because there the, the, the many Eden did not sign the census for that reason. I don't know if it's still a controversy today or not. I mean, uh, years ago, was. I haven't heard of that census. Sorry? I, don't, I haven't heard of the election taking a census. They don't. What's every country takes a census. Every, every 10 years, every, every 10 years, they take a census. Okay. Am I right? But, but you, the census is much more than just a number of people. I don't know if you're from your Friday. There's a lot of questions. You know what, what, what needs? What do you need? What do you need? Okay, if they each one had to sign their own, then maybe it would be different, but that's not how it works, but for family. Anyway. Uh, therefore, you have two available, you shouldn't do that. Says the Gemara, have a lot of it's very possible. It's very itself. Says the possible. So there is a number, like the sand and the and the and the, and the shore. But there is a number there. it says, that you can't measure it. You can't count it. Like cash. Can not countable. Can ain't Not the like sand. We should be like sand. That number. Rebbe Yehoshua, 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 Rebbe very important to remember. become a, a, a board member or you become a, a leader of a community. Miss Asher, it's a good omen because you become rich. first it says by It says in the posse, how did Shalom Melech check everybody out with clay shards? It's only can afford to give out. Although the slave later a couple, he's only king for a couple of years. Later on, see by he gave them all sheep. And with 300,000, they gave them all sheep. Look how rich he became. Yesterday, he was clay shards. Today, he owned thousands and thousands of sheep. How do you know it was the Shalom Melech? Maybe he told everybody, he'd bring your sheep. In came my Rus and Musa was the Kiddush, who kids and how he counted. Then it said, It says, By Yoreb, Shalom El came to Amolek, by Yoreb and Achal, he came and he, and he, had, he fought there by Nochal. He had a debate with the Eidush regarding Nachal, which is the Eglaruk. What is that? I want you to smite Lech Vikisas Amolek. I want you to destroy annihilate Amolek and destroy everything that he has. I have no Rachmanes, kill men, women, infants, animals. I don't understand. Ma nefesh achas madach. One person alone, alone corpse found middle of nowhere. I'm going to tell you to have a egla rufa. You have to have a rufa, which means you need a kapara. Call han nefesh alot true. We know who murdered him, but David don't know murdered him. But the point is that even a corpse that nobody knows, the entire community has to have a kapara. You want us to kill out all these people? Allah has come and come. How can we kill these people? Just like David said by Mitzrayim over there, the ma'isa yodet tovah beyom. After we have a shidduch, we certainly have halum because the fact is, even though they're Mitzrayim. They, they, you know, you can't just kill people. Be mother, and even he will grant you the other chata, the terrible people, the wicked, the evil, you have to be destroyed. What did the animals do wrong? And What did the children do wrong? Yotza Baska and Baskerman said, Al Tzadik Don't be too from my husband. If I tell you to kill him out, kill him out. Surprising the child didn't learn from your What's very hard to understand in the show, which the Gemara is about, is okay, he, he left the animals alive. You want some of them, you want to bring Kabbalists. What was his excuse to leave Agog alive? He was the king, he was more responsible than anybody else. Why did he leave him alive? And then he pregnant a woman, or Shmuel came to him. What was he thinking? 
He doesn't give a different chesed on that. He gives a chesed on everything else. There's no different chesed on our God. Unless he wanted our God to, to witness the decimation of his of his people. I mean, is that what it was? Yeah, so what was it? Here he's trying to have an achmanus. Maybe, maybe, maybe what is that formal execution process just to stop getting the right feel? The Shmuel Anovi should be there. Then we'll kill him. Maybe. So you think he's a terrorist or Yeah, that's true. And said to Doyeg, he told Doyeg that the city of Naive, when David, uh, the city of Bever Melch said to Naive, he tricked him and he said that Shaul sent me on a mission, I need some food. And they gave him. And then Doyeg saw that. So he went and, and he mastered to Shaul. He said that the people of Naive assisted uh, David Melch, knowing that, that he's your enemy. Uh, he says, don't be such a Russia. Sorry, we're seeing the model. We're seeing the seeing the that he's unbelievable tzaddik. We're seeing the model. He was much greater tzaddik than Dublin Melech. I think Harb Amr Avunet. He said to, to him, "Don't be." So he destroyed the city of Noiv, which Shaul was in a way was entitled to because he made the Malchus in his eyes. He, he said, "Al Tisha Harb." David just said to him, "Don't be so evil." How is it that a person doesn't sense, doesn't feel? Gavra, there's a person, the Mare Sayaya, there are certain people that Abish is on your side. Abish overlooks your faults. And, 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 and that's a Hilbert David and Shaul. David was, Shaul and was perfect, one floor. The Abish destroyed him. David was imperfect, full of flaws. And the Abish was on his side. The Gurus Ari, which is the Shagazaya, he writes, This is the most difficult Gemara that he finds. So, when we, we say, Ibish, so he's saying, Abish has no Cheshman. He's, he's He chooses the underdogs who deserve to be punished, he'll side with, and people who don't deserve to be punished. Say, what kind of Gemara is this? He wants to know. So, what do you say? Shaul, who was a perfect guy, was wiped out. David was so imperfect, full of flaws, Abish loved him. What, what, what is this? So he comes along and he says, it's the shiras of a tishbachas that David and Melech, he said, the chilek is that David and Melech was constantly doing tshuva on, on his flaws. David and Melech recognized his flaws and he contempt, so even though, so the, even though he wasn't perfect, but because he was constantly looking to heal him, asking for forgiveness, to last, whatever, all throughout. Therefore, David and Melech, the Abisha was on the side. Shaw never did tshuva. Never had any remorse for anything he did. And, and he justified what he did. Instead of saying, Abish, hey, you're right, I was wrong, I should have done it, he justified it. And that's why he was uh, he was punished. And he says, very interesting, he says, tell him, Kapitel Nubov, Hashem Ahalodov, Belakim Ahalodov. So he said, why is it in the same passage? What's, what's Dolomel saying? Hashem is Chesed, Elakim is Gevur. I don't care if the Abish just treats me nicely, I don't care if the Abish just punishes me, Ahalod. I'm always thanking him because I'm in the Abish's hands. Completely submitted himself to the Abish. And all that gave him brown point, browning points, and he, uh, the Abish was on the side. But interesting how he starts off. This is like the most difficult Gemara, and Chas and Khalilah take the Gemara the way it says. Anyway, let's see what the problem is. So it says here, Shaul Bachas, Shaul flawed in one, the Osloi, and he lost everything. But the Abish time lost, he wasn't punished for it. Shaul Bachas, what was his flaw? My, my star God. The story of Agag, he didn't lose the Abish to it. The story of the Amalek. What do you mean? Only one floor by Shaul, but he can mice the Noivi and Akainim. What about that story there? No, I mice the Agag. See, only when did he get punished for Agag? The Chamti, I regretted Kim Lachti or Shaul. I regretted the fact that I anointed him. That was well before. That was well before. Uh, yeah, but why isn't it counted as an Aveda as well? You're saying that the Abish did this. You're saying it that this was the Aveda, and that time he only did, he only had one floor. And the Abish did get the Mel Dubbish time, my new Uriah. He said, not Bashab. Uriah sending him to the front and Hasasa. He was listened, to, he was convinced to count the Yidin and he counted the Yidin. As you know, what happened is a Magaifa, 100 people died and so on. What about the story of Bathsheba? Says, so he Then he got taken punished for already because Nasan Hanavi, when he gave him that uh, that muscle there about the poor man with the little sheep, and the donor said he should be you know destroyed and he should punish him four times fourfold. It taka happened. You see, it says, what did the say? What should happen? It's like, if so, you shall live, my but then we should pay back the rich man, should pay back four times. I bought him, so he had full punishment. Yell it, the first child of Bathsheba. She, she miscarried when she was six years old. And then, like, then Amnon, the story of Amnon and then Tamar, uh, really happened the other way around. 
Tamar, we have we have the Gemara Sanhedrin. The Tamar actually was not even a sister because her mother's a Yifastoyer, and according to Rashi, that even a Yifastoyer, the first time Inala lived with, she already was she already was pregnant from another man. It was not David Melech's daughter, and it was not it was Yifastoyer, so she was a like, Yehudis, wasn't his daughter. And Amnon therefore wasn't a brother or sister, but he treated her like a daughter. And Amnon raped her, so that's Tamar was the second incident. And the third one was that Avshalom killed Amnon, which is David Melech's son. And then Avshalom, the rebellion of uh, the treason of Avshalom. The four punishments. He was also punished for um, for the um, the hasasa. There was a plague. So you might have had ace moed hasam over there. Hasam there, even the gufe. He personally didn't feel the pain. Hasam now even the gufe over there also. He didn't feel the pain. If it's children, you're right. Even the gufe. He did. He did get punished for counting. Interesting that his children is is considered the same thing as plowing throw. Because we want to answer, but that's his family. What do we didn't feel the pain? That was his family. Family is you. That a plague out there in Kal Yisrael. And he wanted to make that distinction because as a king, he was a king of old Kal Yisrael, entire Kal Yisrael, and therefore he would have felt the pain the same. So he says he tacked the suffered. I don't even know. But I'm of it. There was six months that he was like had leprosy. Who parshay menus and had to then separate from him and his dalki menus chidei which left him as well. You see, it says the pasuk Yeshu b'li yedeicha. Come back to me, though the fear you'll be yoyde nesecha. Let's not enter. Come back. See, it says to the Eibush that she will lead. Give me back, so son Yishecha. Give me back the joy of your salvation. No, but come back to me as well. What would I have? Kibul double lashon hara. Another sin, another flaw. He accepted lashon hara. He accepted what they're about to be it's a sad story about Mifa Boishas. We don't have time to tell right now. But it's a sad story. He believed that this guy, this guy is the servant of Mifa Boishas. told David Amel of Mifa is happy that Abishalom yeah. is taking over. So, Dama, Lakibu Dabba Shmuhara. So, the Machlech is Abba Shmuel, whether Dabba accepts it or not. So, he follows Shmuel that Shmuel that the Dabba does not accept it or not. But according to Rav, and according to Rav, according to Rav who says Dabba did, how if for me that he take a punish? The Amar Rav Yehuda Marav Shosh of David Mishra is a party after the Tzivu Dechagos. So there, that when David told me to buy Shir, he said to buy Shir that the uh, Boishes came to greet David Melech when he came back to Shlaim and, and, and whatever. The Boishes decided not to not to shave after all those other things to show that you know I'm not my my Tsar is still there until your mom is reinstated. David misinterpreted that he that he said that David became king again. And so he said, you know what? I was trying to give you the property. I'm going to divide it with Tziva, your, your servant. And then the said, you know what? I don't need it. Let Tziva have the whole thing. And David mistook that again to say that Tziva, that Mipoish hates David. Yotza, basketball. Because you split, and if you, you believe the Lashon Hara, your kingdom will be split as well. So he was punished. Now look at what it says. Ben Shana, Shana, the Malka, he... He says that he was a Ben Shonah the Malka. He says the Gemara that he was a year old. He was a year in his kingdom. He says the Gemara for two years he was a king. He was a king. Amr Avuna ki Ben Shonah. He was like a one year old. So like Tom Tam Chet. Shaul was perfect. He did never sin before he became king. And he was the shoulder above. He was higher than everybody else because there's nobody equal to him. Master Nachmi Zabeim ki Ben Shonah. How do you know? You could have kind of question this. Maybe he was a year old. Maybe like a year old. He sullied and everything else. He saw a strapper, he saw a malach, the black malachim, the bad malachim in his dream for, for, for casting a spurs in a shawl. He said, oh, I spoke too much about you, the bones of Shaul Ben Kish. So again, bad thing. Shaul was your friend. Interesting, in the Shainim say, from here we learn now that when you sign a ksuba, you sign your name. Ben, your father's name, and then Aid, not uh, Aid Ben, whatever the name is. Why? Because it says here, Shaul Ben Kish, then Melech is the title. Same with Koyin, same thing with Levi and all that. That's what they did. Shaul was the Koyin did the Ritva, the Big Machlech as well. But based on this, it seems that it goes on on Matas Yom. Why didn't extend Because he was perfect. His biggest flaw was. That he was perfect. Hear that? When you look for a rabbi, for a community, make sure that he has some flaws. If he has some flaws, so he should never get too haughty and too arrogant. He starts feeling so overconfident or cocky. I'm like, one second. You're not so perfect yourself. You know, calm down. 
Amazing word. He was Michael on his coverage. And then it says, of enable the Yalom, the people, the bad people said, What show can help us? Give him a gift when he became a king. But he could machish, but Shol said nothing. Mum, he was very humble. Uksiva yal nochesh amayni va yichan al yavgilah. Then the war amayni came attack and Shol defeated them. And what happened was, so the people said to Shol, "Let's kill those people who insulted you." And Shol said, "Leave them alone." Don't kill them. So that was Shaul's problem. That he was Michael. He did not stand up for his covet, which surprising mother brings this one and says, Patient Tanakh. Shmuel said to him, he gave him a chalet. You, you have to remember you're a king and you're a leader, and don't be Michael. You're not your covet. It's not your covet to be Michael, but it's in Tanakh. Which we read in Haftar a few weeks ago. That um, the story about God. I my put in time. Why do you mean that possible? We told him clearly, don't be Michael, you're a king. But anyway, from the, let's go to two more lines. They call Tamachach, which is not going to be a Tamachach. Tamachach does not defend the honor of Taylor. He's not a Tamachach. And so Shaul Hamelach should have should have stood and honored his covenant of the king and hurt those and, and destroyed those people who insulted him. I think Mother Exceed was sick. Will sick? Ahu be Mammon would exceed. You shouldn't take revenge when it comes to money matters. When it comes to personal pain, you should stand up for your covenant. You see what it says, Tanya, Azi, Nikimah, the Tira. What's different in Nikimah? Amalei Shalei Magalchal, send me, let me your sickle, Amalei Lab. No. Lemachal, Lahir Shalei, Kadim, send me, let me at Amalei Enu Shuch. I'm not going to. Kedera Shalei Shavoni, because you don't lend me. Zuni, because that's revenge. Azi, the Tira. What's, what does it mean, harboring, you know, harboring hate or a grudge? Amalei Hashalei, Kadim, let me your axe. Amalei Loi, no. Lemachal, Lahir Shalei, Kadim, let me your shirt. Amalei Halek, here it is. Oh, but any kimaich am not as you. Shalei shatoni, zui netira. That is netira. Oh, but zayde the gufa. Sorry, zayu netira. That's money matters. But if it comes to personal pain, you have to fight back. The, the beautiful shagazari here over here, Gurzari. Why we change the cases? You know, from a sickle to an axe, and from an axe to a shirt. And he learns this one long story. The same people are coming back again. Very interesting to see what he says over there. But the Alter Rebbe clearly learns it's a, it's a, it's a, it's the same two people but tw- two different episodes. Beside the group of law, you know, but time we learned how they love being very Those people who accept shame and don't fight back. Or shame is a possible and receiving. They hear their shame and they don't answer back. They do out of love. It's making me soon, and they accept all their pain. Alena cause why me for Iyer, but those love and kids say Hashem and Gvurosh and the sun that came out by Yeshua and said by Yidam Hashem the sun was quiet. So these people are quiet, same like the sun. So the Chayda that ideally should be quiet even then. Well, you're right. La Olam the Naka Belibe. That no, I want that he that he should harbor it in his heart, but he shouldn't do anything. I want whatever call my mother's my villain come show up and fight in the fight. Somebody comes and appeases you should appease. Otherwise, so the Rashi says, and this is brought down that a Tamil Chacham should not fight for himself, but other people, the people in the show should stand and defend the Tamil Chacham, and he shouldn't stop them. Because if he stops them, that means it's you think it's about you. It's not about you, it's about your office, it's your position. And and let the position be defended. And for you, maybe past this, because people can misconstrue. Uh, you're defending yourself, you're defending the office, but when other people are defending it, they're defending the office, the covet for the for, for the rav, and therefore you should allow them to show them out, stop them, and that.